Huh. All right, here's the part where I talk about all the perverted, deviant, sexual shit I did last week. Woo! Right, I think we can get their attention in the back. Right, you can't touch those fucking people back there. Anyway. Now, this is a sad story of depression and redemption. No. It's a story of regret, right? As if I believed it. If I believed in reincarnation, maybe I could go back and do it all over again, you know? Make something of myself. Be a pillar of my community. Maybe I could be born a screaming, mewling, cabbage head baby, pushed through a greasy vagina into this meat grinder world, <laughs> only to be soon manhandled by some overeducated ape in a white coat. Maybe the first noise I ever make in this world would be a scream, or the last noise would be a choke. Maybe I could be. Stuffed full of acrid chemical drinking food, lab engineered nutrients shoveled into my gullet to make me the strong, proud, arrogant, super being I am today. <laughs> Maybe I could grow up strapped to a cathode ray emitter in lieu of parenting where I could spend hours of my ever shortening lifespan sucking down super loaves and high fructose corn syrup pressed into the shapes of Disney cartoon characters and that. Sweden with the tears of poor Malaysian children that make mm, mm, mm. Tastes so good, that poverty. Maybe I could go to school and learn how to respond to the sound of a bell like some kind of Pavlovian dog hungry for operant conditioning. And then I could listen to quaint little fairy tales about white people discovering America and our founding fathers inventing liberty and democracy and all that other shit that I'll be bored to tears to hear because all the shocking scenes got cut out, just like a cable edited porno for me. Maybe I could just kind of sit there vacantly and passively absorb indoctrination through osmosis. It's a new learning technique. Or maybe I could learn to do what so many others do and nod my head and smile and happily laugh at my own fun. Maybe I could begrudgingly share a dinner table that night with my overworked alcoholic parents before they lull themselves to sleep with the agony of their crushed dreams. And we could have the obligatory Q&A session where all the perfunctory questions about school and daily sports could be executed and replied. And then maybe they could drag me to church every Sunday and instill me and inject me with lynch mob righteousness before I hold it up to more critical faculties. <laughs> Maybe I could learn to hate homos and fear demons and deny the culpability in my own life. Maybe I could be conditioned to turn a blind eye to all outside the Bible bubble. Because eventually I'll be back here coming from the sky during the most exclusive rapture of history. <laughs> and maybe I could learn to open my wallet, shut off my brain, pay the salvation toll, the collection plate, and throw my hand up in the air in euphoria, obedience, surrender, good God Almighty, I'm free, free of independent thought, free of responsibility, woo and should the ugliness of the outside world for straight across our picture tunes for 800 seconds in between sitcoms and infomercials, it will be banished from our minds, the channel lead must not only be changed, but for God. So turn off the fucking news! I'm trying to eat dinner! I'm an American and I deserve this. I'm a child of God and I want it all. <laughs> Give me the duty, young, urban, professional parents, go around the world in the blue suited news, not a gay and hit players of suburbia, homogenotopia, a new planned community. <laughs> Three hundred channels of brain melting shit. Why so don't stay stupid and learn how to run the unattainable when I'm young? Buy me a cookie cutter track house in a nice neighborhood with good schools so I can learn to love gentrification. <laughs> Protect me from the downtrodden barbarians of reality. Lock me in a white drywall cocoon of denial. Shame me to the radiator. 
it because you love me so, and send me to my room forever! As long as it has enough outlets to plug my windows in. <laughs> and if by some Darwin defying stroke I manage to make it past puberty without falling into the evil clutches of child blasters lurking in the seedy annals of internet chat rooms and MySpace bulletins, if by divine guidance, I managed to evade suicide human bomb attacks by CIA trained religious zealots from countries I can neither pronounce nor find on a map. <laughs> I might live long enough to actually see some hair grow on my dick. <laughs> and if I hope for my cook, hell on the high water, peanut butter or jelly, <laughs> I managed to limp into my late teens with a still intact psychic rectum freshly spritzed and puckered, not yet violated and scratched by the evils of the world, I'll be old enough to lash out at the disillusionment that my eyes are finally mature enough to see. Yeah. Unfortunately, I'll also be old enough to be charged as an adult in the court of law. <laughs> I'll be old enough to what they call bathroom lessons of humility in county. Scared straight and craving Jesus' mom and apple pie. Just like it was angel pussy. <laughs> so here's the hoping I can gang rape by a band of crooked cops just to keep me on the right track. <laughs> I'll be old enough to hate women for being evasive and love them for being mysterious. <laughs> I'll be old enough to strive for an emotionally stunted, dysfunctional relationship with a nice young lady who'll push my buttons and drive me crazy and speed our mutual neuroses and delusions right to a fucking brick wall. Transforming a once beautiful connection into a grueling 3 a.m. hate club. I'll be old enough to let the filthy meat of some go nowhere, dead end putt pulling, cash register monkey job, selling junk to shills. And after a few years of letting the public shit in my mouth on a daily basis, my inherent faith in humanity be broken down by the cycle of tires and spirit crushing mediocrity of Gigam All USA. I'll be old enough to feel like a heavy breathing dinosaur wheezing through my stained teeth with carcinogen soaked breath, struggling in vain to keep up with a youth culture run amok and a planned obsolescent gadget tsunami. And someday I know, I know in my fucking mind, that I'm going to have to get my neighbor's kid to help me set the timer on my federal issue jumper on the traffic jump. But hey, at least it'll let me play with these freaks, right? <laughs> I'll be old enough to grow out of my alienated teenage angst and into my alienated adult angst. So now the repressed, full-grown child, wounded, salty, and shaking with inattention. I'll be a self-actualized, mature, financially stable, upstanding member of the community. <laughs> Sedentary, comfortable, philosophically cow, whacked out on prescription drugs, and kneeling about my comfortable little butt. I'll make a great slave. Brimming with complicity and sad, droopy, coming in her eyes, whispering, come over here and fuck me rough, because that's the way I like it. I'll be old enough to say, hey world, here I am. Ready to toss salad for nipples. Ready for an anesthetized lobotomy. Ready to get my scat munching, Satan palating, khaki sporting groove on. Oh. <laughs> I'll be old enough to experience my headlong dystopian plunge into the golden years of my discontent. My future will be a bright, shining cancer cluster, burning tumors into the ideals of my youth. And eventually this will all culminate into me preparing for the day when I can live through the civility of a nice, comfortable heart attack before my remains are sealed in an extravagant Tupperware container and shipped into the cold, hard ground. And then, all of these magical little moments will flash before my eyes like a movie of the week, and I'll be born again! A creature of new flesh, revived, rejuvenated, re-educated, re-engineered, and re-released upon the chaos of the human biomass. Another piece of meat thrown to the wind to do it all over again. That's the writing part. That makes it a moment. <laughs> and I can go back and be someone. 
I would be a pillar of my community. 